My name is Devin Gaston, um, originally from Miami, grew up in Brooklyn. I was educated in, in, the, in the great constitution state of Connecticut. I lived there for over 10 years and uh, I currently reside here in Orlando, Florida. My main motivation is me, myself, and I. I think uh, I do a lot of time traveling where I think about things that either made me angry in life or made me sad. And uh, those are things that motivate me where it's like, I don't want to be disappointed and I don't want to disappoint anyone. So uh, what motivates me is me putting a, uh, or applying the uh, necessary energy to not disappoint anyone or disappoint myself. So yeah, that's where my motivation derives from. Uh, the message I'm trying to share is truth. You know, I feel like the truth saves lives. You know, I was talking to a, a young man yesterday and he mentioned that Tupac was one of his uh, favorite artists. And he asked me, you know, hey, were you, how old were you when Tupac died? You know, who was Suge Knight? And I uh, gave him a, a brief summary of both individuals. And I told him, you know, hey, you know, we lost a great person because he was lied to, but he was a truth speaker. And um, that's my message is to tell the truth at its fullest capacity, you know, no filter, no, 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 no barricades. I don't want to hinder anyone from uh, receiving any good information. Um, good energy, positivity, uh, creative people, uh, people who are natural born leaders, people who are game changers, and uh, individuals who have great minds who are ultimately going to uh, inspire a wide variety of people, black, white, you know, young, middle Asian, old. Well, my, originally, I got the name from um, a friend of the, of, of, of my mother's best friend. Her name was uh, Sheila. She gave me the name back in 1993, uh, Debo. And uh, she told me that, uh, I'm gonna call you Debo because you know how to, you know how to Debo a plate. She basically was saying I was greedy. And um, I would say a few years after that, you know, in Brooklyn, Brooklyn is a, a place of uh, tradition and um, self-entertainment. Uh, I played the game Skelly very well, and I was very passionate about it, to the point where I, I enacted on some violence because uh, the game to me was a, a, a very romantic game and I never wanted to lose. So if I felt you cheated, I was gonna take your skelly top, I would throw it, you know, I might have to <laughs> crack, snap, you know what I mean? Pop you upside the head or even punch you. So, you know, one of my best friends, uh, Leo, AKA LB, he, uh, he, called, he started calling me Debo. My block with my, this is my real day one. You know what I'm saying? You already know what it is, man. From Debo. the, the fifth well, of the I North Star him. day, we playing Skelly and all that. I named him. Okay. Yeah, yeah. He used to Debo me on the Skelly call. <laughs> Real 400 block shit. Many people said during that time period of my life, I resembled uh, Tiny Lesser, the character from Friday, uh, Debo. Um, they just said, you know, I had the mannerism and the demeanor. You know, I was very intimidated and. Uh, I, I, I like to engage in physical combat, so that's where my name came from, but, you know, I'm a peaceful guy now, uh, hands off, you know, it's more mine uh, over anything, so. The best advice I was ever given. <laughs> uh, the best advice I was given, I would say came from my mom, and it was something that, it took me years and years to respond to um, was save your money so your money can save you. And I never understood it because, uh, you know, being young, living in the city, and even living around the city, I always had access to money. Uh, made a lot of money as a young man. I spent a lot of money, but you know, the culture that I lived in, in the tri-state area, uh, it required you to make money, but it also required you to spend that money just as fast as you made it. And uh, I never understood 
the importance of saving money. Um, I would say to my young viewers, save your money, as my mom says, so your money can save you. You know, we don't necessarily think about how um, planting the seed from for planting the seeds today for tomorrow's harvest can have an impact on your development. You know, we talk about credit, we talk about buying a car, we talk about purchasing a home. Those things just don't happen overnight. You know, you have to prepare for them. And um, preparing for your tomorrow is saving your money. So, uh, yeah, save your money so your money can save you and help, you know, bring the life that you want for yourself in the fruition.